Uh, I apologize for not having any slides. Um, welcome to Service Mesh Con, everyone. Looking forward to a really great day. Uh, we've got two tracks going. We've got the um, sessions in this room and I believe the workshop in the next room, though don't uh, quote me on that. Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, year of Service Mesh. I'm going to call this year the uh, year of maturity. Uh, all of the sessions that we've got are really showing that. It's a lot of talk about folks running into problems in production and what that means, getting it into production. We're not talking about the technology anymore. We're actually talking about uh, how to get this in the real world. Um, so I'm super excited about all of those. Uh, we've got some great talks coming up. Uh, the one I'm particularly interested in is actually Edith's. I saw her run around a second ago, but uh, we're going to be chatting a little bit about eBPF. That's, I think, the other awesome part of the last year. We saw WASM kind of become a big thing. Uh, Envoy picked up a lot of great features. And then some new stuff around uh, eBPF happen. Uh, so I definitely would recommend uh, catching that talk when you can. Ah, nope. So all of the, yep, anyways, uh, so with that, just a super fast, easy intro, why don't I get uh, Marco to come on up and uh, chat with us a little bit about, um, or wait, no, it's Edith that's up next, who I'm still not seeing. I went too fast. No, it, I've, I've got the schedule up. Yep. So we've got uh, Edith coming up now to talk to us a little bit about uh, supercharging your service mesh with enhanced data access. I think that all falls into this theme of uh, production and uh, figuring out how to run this stuff in the real world for realsies. Okay, go on. You bet. <laughs> 